How to Win Friends and Influence People by Dale Carnegie is the best book I've ever read. And I think that everybody has to read this book. And I'm about to explain to you why, so stay tuned. What's up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem, but we focus on the solution. And as you know, I run a mental health channel. And a lot of the books I read, my intention for reading any of them is to help improve my mental health and then I can pass that along to you. So this book, How to Win Friends and Influence People, was written decades ago and it is absolutely amazing. It is going to help anybody who struggles with social anxiety, anybody who deals with anger issues, anybody who's looking for just overall happiness, how to make friends and all sorts of things. The best part about this book is that it is absolutely timeless and what I mean by that is is that this book was written so long ago and the references it makes are from last century but they are still applicable today they even still teach these courses to this day because they are always relevant let's talk about why this book was ever written in the first place so Dale Carnegie he taught a lot of classes on public speaking and other things that just help people uh, be more charismatic if you will and the one thing that he found across the board throughout different studies and uh, statistics and surveys is that the qualities that people wanted the most was how to get along with other people better. Now think about that for a second. Think about the wide range that that covers. How to get along with your coworkers, how to get along with your parents, how to get along with your kids, how to get along with your friends, how to make new friends, all sorts of things. In my opinion, after reading this book, I think that every single high school student in the world should have to read this book. This book has so many practical suggestions that I wish I would have learned growing up just about how to have conversations, what's good and what's bad, pushing away my pride and my ego for a minute, the things that actually work when trying to influence people to meet my wants and needs, how to have a debate without it turning into an argument. These are normal skills that a lot of people just don't know, but you can learn them by reading this book. Dale Carnegie pulls in examples from a lot of very influential people from President Abraham Lincoln to uh, the Rockefellers to other people, and he discusses why they were good at what they did and he breaks it down in this book and he gives you practical advice on how you can do it too. So this book focuses around nine principles and these principles include Principle one, begin with praise and honest appreciation. Principle two, call attention to people's mistakes indirectly. Principle three, talk about your own mistakes before criticizing the other person. Principle four, ask questions instead of giving direct orders. Principle five, let the other person save face. Principle six, praise the slightest improvement and praise every improvement. Principle seven, give the other person a fine reputation to live up to. Principle eight, use encouragement. Make the fault seem easy to correct. And principle nine, make the other person happy about doing the thing you suggest. So one of my favorite chapters in this book is talking about arguments and how to diffuse these arguments so both people get what they want. And one of the best quotes from this book that I can give to you is this one. Welcome the disagreement. Remember the slogan, when two partners always agree, one of them is not necessary. If there's some point you haven't thought about, be thankful if it is brought to your attention. Perhaps this disagreement is your opportunity to be corrected before you make a serious mistake. Now think about that for a second. When two people always agree, one of them is useless. There's another philosophy that I'll make a video about where it talks about how the best friends you can have are the ones who disagree with you. And it's because you can trust them. You can trust that they're always giving you their honest opinion. If this topic interests you, I'm going to put a link in the info card at the very end to a channel called Charisma On Command. It is an amazing channel and Ben and Charlie do a great job just teaching people skills. And a lot of what they talk about pulls from ideas and philosophies from this book. 
book. So check out Charisma on Command. But if you would like me to do more videos like this um, or expand on things in this book, please leave comments down below. If you would like to check out this book, please go to the affiliate link in the description, buy a copy from Amazon, or get it on Audible, which I choose to use. I read books or listen to books while I'm driving to work. But by using the affiliate link down below, it helps support this channel so I can make more videos like this and all the other ones I do on this channel. So thanks for sticking around. I hope you check out this book. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And if you're new here, right below this box, hit the little round subscribe button. I'm always doing videos about mental health, mental illness, addiction, and just overall happiness. So don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. I'll see you next time.